Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, first of all, I got a little bit of crane, so I'm going to do a little bit of an update on my crane. Uh, and I got a new gadget here. Um, first, a lot of you have seen my crane video, but you watched the fail video one, and a lot of people don't realize I actually got it working, and it's worked great for quite a long time now. I pull my wheelchair, which is in excess of 300 pounds, in and out of this truck quite often. Um, and it works super great, especially if I'm pulling my trailer. I can actually get it out while my trailer is still hooked to my truck. So this crane is working excellent. So if you haven't seen my success video, go check out my crane success video. Um, second of all, the reason I have these things and I have a wheelchair, many of you may not even know that, that I, I, I do use a wheelchair when I need to walk long distances. So anytime we go anywhere, um, you know camping or go to visit somewhere I got to bring a wheelchair along because I just can't can't walk very far and the reason for that is I have what they call CRPS in my leg. It's a very excruciating pain. Uh, I try and work through it as much as I can because uh, basically what I was told my phone, what I was told is uh, if I don't use it I could kind of almost literally lose it in a way. It'll It'll start degenerating so uh, I try to uh, get through it as much as I can. And one of the bigger things from that video, several people think I'm a vet for some reason, and I'm not. So I don't want that to uh, be out there at all. I don't want anybody thinking I am, because I am not. Um, and, you know, so I don't want any confusion about that. Uh, third of all, here it is, my new hoist. Uh, this is one I can hook into the bumper, into, uh, not the bumper, uh, a hitch. Uh, like That's what I was looking for. On the back of my trailer, hooked to that bumper to where I can use this on my trailer and then switch it over to my truck when I'm ready to use it on my truck. Or I can use it on a couple of other cars I have that have the hitch in it. Um, now, it's been actually, <laughs> I paid 100 bucks for this thing and I looked online and they're running around 1700 plus dollars. Um, and I don't even know if that counts shipping and all that stuff. So uh, the reason I got such a good deal on it is it's kind of beat up. This was actually at the wrecking yard that um, I frequent often, and and they couldn't sell it. They had it on. Uh, they were trying to sell it for 600 bucks, and I actually got it for 100. So anyway, I thought I'd kind of give you uh, the beginnings of this because it's definitely going to need some work, and if any of you are like me and don't have the money for this kind of stuff because there's no way I could afford one of these unless I bought it and, need it and it needed some work. So. Work like a charm. And I know I'm not going to use this battery option. Uh, whatever I hook this on is going to be just directly powered um, some way or another. And if I ever just do decide to use this, I can always put it back on. I'm not yes. planning on throwing it. I don't have a key for this, so I'm going to try and see one of two things. Either have a key made for it or uh, get a toggle switch. Uh, we shall see what kind of stuff's in here. I'm hoping just the screw right here should let this all kind of pop out, I'm assuming, anyway. There's another one down underneath here. There you go. So if you need to ever replace one of these switches, so I'm going to try and attempt to unhook this from here and then this one is already, this is what's attached to the uh, power wires here which right now I'm going to unplug that. I'm assuming these are the ones that probably went directly back to uh, or up to the battery, the main battery. So I'm going to keep a hold of that though in case I need to reuse this. But right now that's unhooked from there that'll pull through but I need to unhook this and this one goes directly up to the actual motor up here that's being kind of a bit there we go got those all unhooked here I should be able to just pull this right through here now, I'm pretty sure I could probably order this whole thing online because this looks like it's 
got some sort of welding to it like it's or not welding but like it's been brazed to it or soldered to it soldered's the word I've been looking for but uh, anyhow I'm gonna take this into a locksmith and see if I can't get a key okay. made and about 25 bucks later I have this key and another key and it fits and works um, now I did have to go to a locksmith I doubt you could have this done at like Home Depot or Lowell's or something I don't know I've never tried but I have a locksmith that's actually close to me so that's where I went and 25 bucks may seem like a lot for that little thing uh, and another one but you know it took them a little while to do it and I'm sure it probably cost me at least 25 bucks or more just to buy this whole because I'm sure I'd have to buy all this whole thing so um, yet again that's up to you what you want to do but this well, seemed like the easy key. I went ahead and this was the only bolt in the whole kit so it was missing a couple bolts as it was um, and this thing is rusted and not going in and out very well so what I did I stopped by the hardware store I found the same grade bolt as this um, yeah it's a little bit shorter uh, this one actually is for the bumper so it needs to be a little bit shorter and I got a couple more that go into well more to the, more of the hitch where the hitch meets the lift anyhow so I got all those and I actually bought stainless steel so hopefully uh, in the midst of things that doesn't look like this a few years down the road we'll see and also I had to pick up some hardware now same thing make sure not only that you get the right grade bolts um, but also nuts for that because this all has to work together uh, so I went ahead and picked up some washers nuts and lock washers first thing here is this right here that's uh, a bit rusty you can tell this sat in the car and just just stayed there the whole entire time it was in there now I'm going to use it a bit differently and pulling in and out um, I may go ahead and clean this up put some paint on it later but first I just need to get this thing on here make sure everything's working I'll worry about cosmetics later and then I got that stainless steel bolt now this actually um, just has a an actual nut welded into here uh, kind of a plate with a pretty large plate with uh, some threads on it actually is what it is um, so that actually bolts in there it's not like your normal where you put a pin in and, and put a on it and said the key works and I gotta put those bolts back or screws back in there and then we should be able to start figuring out how to wire this thing coming from that key um, one of them goes to this plug right here and I believe that this plug, the uh, it is supposed to go directly to the battery with a fusible link of some sort in the middle of the uh, positive there. Uh, I'm probably not going to go that route, but I am going to keep this and so I can just plug this in and use this to. Basically, what I'm going to do is go into where my trailer wires are. I'm going to try that, see if it works. Yet again, not responsible if you do it and burn your rig down. Um, so the power goes into here to the key. Once you flip the key, it powers up this wire here. This plugs directly into the motor. The motor that lifts up and down. That goes right into that plug there and goes up here to the motor. I don't know as you can see that. Now there's another wire sticking out here coming out from what is I believe just the light for um, putting your license plate on so somebody that would have this on the back of their car all the time uh, would hook this into their uh, wiring harness uh, however they hooked it up and that would basically all it looks like it does is, is turn a light on to light up your uh, license plate I do not believe I will be using that um, but I'm not positive so I'm not going to completely get rid of it yet although this has really nothing to do with whether or not this works or not so I will deal with that later
All right, and I think I've decided I'm going to take the power from this actual well, switch uh, I got here. Just some there. speaker wire. Now this is just for proof of concept, and I wouldn't. I'm not going to use this, and I wouldn't use this to run all the way to the battery or anything. The like that. ground and the positive to go a different route. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because two of the cars I have um, have this type of a plug on them, uh, but one of them that I'll probably actually use this with quite a bit only has a normal like small trailer plug-in so yet again uh, doing the same setup as I had before only using the negative and the power from this one I've already tested this it works um, putting this together it goes up and down and I've kind of messed with it messed with it quite a bit and the wires aren't getting hot the motor doesn't seem to work any harder. I'm going to test this out. Get another change here. Um, coming off of the motor is these wires here. And coming off of there's that light that had the plug that plugged into here. Um, so that the uh, license plate light would work. Uh, comes along here. And what I went ahead and did is I splice this into this. Now I kept this here because I'm not positive that this is the way I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to try it. And number two, um, I was a little worried about using the, the smaller gauge wires because these these ones on this end of the plug are quite large. But if you look at these, they're not near as big. So I think this was just because it was going to go a longer way and straight to the battery and quite honestly this is just a 12 volt motor um, nothing real special and it is working plugged in like this and getting the power um, when I put the chair on it that might put more load on it and I'll have to test and make sure that the wires aren't getting too hot and kind of keep an eye on things but I think this is the way I'm going to stick with it and what I did is I took the um, positive wire and the white wire from the license plate there and the negative wire and the negative wire from the license plate and again splice those together on this end use the butt joint um, I had to use a bigger one uh, I couldn't find any way to make it so I could have a bigger and a smaller one but I got these in there they're nice and tight and I put shrink wrap over them now I haven't done the shrink wrap yet so I want to test everything and make sure it's all working now to, to put power into this the only way power will go to this is with when I switch the light on that's the only constant power is when I switch light on now if I was to go through the uh, larger trailer plug I would have power all the time so yet again unless my lights are on I won't even have any power running through these although I uh, drive at night so be as you can see up here this light is going I figure uh, this is how that was made was to be on anytime the lights were on so that's working the same as it should like I said I'm probably not going to use the license plate because it's going to go on different cars and that is why I'm reusing the smaller wire or using the small trailer wires um, also I figure I turn my lights on my truck it'll be nice to have a light on up here especially if it's darker anyway so I really don't care if that's on when I'm using it so that's why I spliced it all together plus instead of using my spare cord that I have there I can just use what was already on this machine so here we go little test then I noticed that this is actually going up quite a bit higher than I thought it would and still hitting the ground here so uh, what I did and I'll have to test this because obviously I'm on flatter ground than I maybe normally would be but I still got a couple inches here um, of height where it could go down even further so I went ahead and flipped this bracket around so that it can go as high as I possibly can get it that way if I am on a dirt road when I'm camping or whatever I don't have to worry about uh, you know maybe bumping over something or going up and down a little hill or something like that will have a lot more ground clearance that way. Just something you might think of when you're doing this.
nothing feels hot, but that really worked it hard. But uh, this is actually only rated for 350 pounds, which this probably is every bit of that. So uh, they probably just put just enough to get 350 pounds up. But it's up, it's holding it. Definitely want it strapped down better, obviously. I may mess with the wiring portion of it to make sure that uh, it's not draining the, ba the battery or not draining the uh, the wires, working the wires too hard. But on the other aspect, I am using the light switch. So the light switch does have a relay and solenoid, or not solenoid, relays and fuses and things like that. So I think if I ever did overwork it or anything like that, that uh, those should take care of any problems. I'm going to test it this way for a while. Like I said, not responsible if you try and doing something that I do and burn down your rig or uh, hurt yourself in any way. Well, I think I'm done with it for now. Well, not really. I need to button it up. I'm going to go ahead and heat shrink it for now. Uh, probably wrap some tape around a few places, do some wire ties to make sure the wires are staying out of the way. Um, it was a little underpowered for how I felt it should have went, but like I said, this chair is every bit of what it's supposed to take. Um, so, I mean, it's it's got to be pretty close to dead on 350, and that's the way to that. Uh, this might be a little bit under, under 350, but not by much. So, I'm happy with it for now. I need to look at it a little better, make sure everything's buttoned up, tightened up. I'm also going to lube it up. Uh, that is one thing I noticed that the uh, there was kind of a grease on or lubricant on there that uh, I feel a little sticky, so I think if I throw some lube on there, that might actually help it uh, raise and lower a little better, or at least raise and lower just fine. Um, but I think for now, I'm going to run with it the way it is. At some point, I might try and straighten up the deck a little better and get another one of those straps. Right now, I'll just use a ratchet strap uh, instead and, and try it the way it is, see if I like it. All right, this is Sam, Jack of all, Master None. You all have a good one.